Now shoppers are planning to spend around $1,600 over the holidays, 700 more than they did last year. That's a new survey from Experian. And to stretch their budgets even further, some people are taking risks to get a good deal. WMR2 News' Mallory Sfaste shows you what they're doing and how to avoid and manage holiday debt. Because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. The survey also found that 62% of Americans want to pay off more debt and they're stressed because it's hard to stay on budget during the holidays. It's a tricky balance, but there are ways to do both. We saw deals starting in October. Retailers fighting for your business this holiday season. Before you rack up those charges, accounting professor JP Crail says to create a plan. The best thing would have been to start budgeting months ago, but given that that's, you know, something's not on everybody's radar, I would say the second best thing is to avoid debt if possible and choose the best kind of debt if necessary. He's talking about interest rates and promotional offers with new credit cards. Retailers like Walmart, Peloton and Ring have also partnered with a firm to offer payment plans. So if they can entice you to, to buy and then pay over time, that may help them because they get bigger sales and may also help you because then you're able to pay with no interest, smaller manageable payments without getting taken advantage of. While looking for deals, don't fall into the trap of sending money to suspicious retailers. The experience survey finding that shoppers are risking identity theft in search of the best bargain. Use a credit card online for extra protections and only open new accounts when it makes sense. So if you're using a credit card, for example, to make purchases online, you're protected against losses caused by identity theft if that were to happen. It also can help you save at the, at the checkout counter if you apply for credit and get that instant discount. But only do that sparingly, maybe one or two stores. You don't need to do it everywhere, so have that plan. You can still bring holiday cheer without setting yourself back in the new year. Try your best to stick to your budget, but if you spend beyond your means, don't be afraid to assess the damage. It always takes personal strength, honestly, to be able to look at your own credit card statement sometimes. And some credit cards will offer, they'll say like, you know, six months interest-free financing. Great, give me those six months then, you know, rather than racking up a bill, not looking at it, and then being nailed with interest and having to pay over eight months because they didn't look. If you don't know where to start with your budget, come up with a number for how much you want to spend on each person on your list Add it up. If that's too much, go back and revise. That is Mallory Safaste, and if you've got a matter for Mallory, she'd love to hear from you. You can email her at Mallory at WMAR.com or just find her on social media. She's on Facebook and Twitter all the time. 640